Hi everybody, Joshua Johnson here. In this video, I provide my three-year review of the MSR Elixir 1 backpacking tent. I explain my likes and dislikes of the Elixir, elaborate on what I feel its best applications are, and offer a judgment on whether or not I think the Elixir is a wise buy. Right here, right now, on Joshua Johnson Outdoors. <laughs> According to MSR, the Alexa series of tents was designed with livability, durability, and ease of setup in mind, all delivered at a great price point. The tents come in one, two, three, and four person models and are marketed primarily to backpackers and campers. The Elixir series is on the more affordable end of the MSR tent spectrum, but in my experience with their products, lower cost doesn't necessarily mean lower quality. Though the Elixir has several key aspects that I really like, there were three in particular that stood out from the rest. Aspect number one, it's extremely spacious. The MSR Elixir one is plenty oversized for even the biggest of the big and tall. The tent inner can easily accommodate a size large inflatable thermorest sleeping pad and still have plenty of head and toe space to spare. Plenty of room to spare. When it's wet or cold outside, it's really nice to have enough interior tent space to not have to worry about your sleeping bag touching the tent walls and ending up damp with overnight condensation. Adding to this list of amenities, the Elixir's inner has a great mixture of mesh and solid panels which provides both ventilation and privacy. It also has internal storage pockets located at the head, toe, and overhead which is more than most tents can say. Also, the glow-in-the-dark zipper pulls make them easy to locate in the middle of the night when nature calls or you need to grab something out of your vestibule. Similar to the inner, the tent outer is very spacious as well. What sets this tent fly apart from a lot of other tents is the very large, generously sized vestibule. I like to install extension slings at the stakeout points of all of my tents as I've found that this makes pitching the tent on poor ground conditions easier to manage. When combined with these slings, the Elixir's vestibule ends up being enormous. I easily have enough room for my pack, boots, spare gear, and stove. In fact, useful vestibule space is so plentiful that I can run my Trangia alcohol stove on full tilt, properly ventilated of course, without having to worry about setting the tent on fire. Result? Aspect number two, it's quick and easy to set up. The MSR Elixir is a freestanding tent, which means it's not completely dependent on pegs and guy lines for setup. Its dual hub pole design makes it a bit more rigid than single hubbed or non-hubbed configuration and its color-coded components help to speed up assembly a bit as well. As I don't really use the footprint and fly only pitching mode, I've attached the footprint directly to the tent inner, which helps to further streamline the setup process. Aspect number three, the tent is just great value. At the time of purchase, I paid about $200 USD for my Elixir One. Global prices for consumer goods have gone up quite a bit since that time, but regardless, that's a very competitive price relative to how much tent you're actually getting. There are certainly cheaper tents out there and higher end options available as well, but I feel the Alexa series really hits the sweet spot in terms of optimizing the balance between cost and quality. Reflecting on my dislikes of the MSR Elixir 1, there are actually pretty few and far between and mostly the result of competing benefits. It's a bit on the heavy side for a solo tent relative to some of the other options out there, but it's hard to make a tent more robust without packing on a little weight. The tent's taller profile means it can be vulnerable to gusty winds, but you can't really have spacious headroom without the tent being a bit taller. Plus, it's important to keep in mind that the tent is a backpacking tent, so it isn't intended for demanding situations such as winter alpine conditions. Keep the elixir within tree line and away from major storms, and I reckon you'll never have a problem. Adding to this list, when you install the ridge pole on the tent, you do end up with a couple spots of pole on pole rubbing, and over time, this can result in unnecessary wear and or pole damage. However, this can be easily remedied with a bit of strategically placed climber's tape. Also, as is the case with many backpacking tents, the Elixir doesn't come with all the necessary guidelines, so you'll have to source your own. Again, these are all very minor issues, but issues nonetheless. There are lighter tents out there, stronger tents and cheaper tents too. However, the MSR Elixir 1 and the Elixir suite of tents delivers a good balance of comfort, cost, and quality. 
I feel this tent is an excellent choice for someone looking for a roomy shelter that's quick to set up and doesn't want to have to break the bank to be able to buy a tent. I much prefer the Elixir over other MSR tent models I've used and owned, such as the Freelight and the Hubba, as I found the Elixir to be a lot more comfortable. As a consumer, I tend to prefer more robust tent options, and I'm willing to pay the slight weight penalty to have that extra bit of structural confidence. As always, these things ultimately come down to personal preference. Over the last 20 years, I've probably used 50 or so different tents and I can say with confidence that the MSR Elixir 1 is easily one of my favorite solo tents of all time. If you found that you like this video please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Joshua Johnson and I hope you have a great day. Cheers. Does anybody have a few extra tent pegs? I forgot mine.